She's Dawn. He's Rob. And this is the Green TV Weekly Show. And this week has been a massive week in the world of green. So we've got together some of our favourite stories. Firstly, some massive news. Massive news. Dawn. Yes, Rob. Did you know we're in a new age? New age. Or geological epoch. Ooh. It's called Anthropocene. Well, this is due to climate change, and the journal Science. have stratigraphic evidence that points to a post-Holocene epoch that started somewhere in the mid-20th century. Just so, there. Yeah, that one's there. They say that this is down to atmospheric carbon emissions being greater than anything in the last 65 million years. Add in a few elevated methane levels and some sea levels higher than the past 115,000 years. And you've got yourself a brand new shiny geologic epoch. Up next, Germany. They've just opened the first section of the 100 kilometer cycle highway. Yep, the first little bit goes from Duisburg to Ham, mm -hmm. but the rest is aiming to connect up to 10 German cities. It's pretty clever. The cycle highway uses abandoned railway lines, so it's all pretty direct and smooth and can take up about 50,000 vehicles off of the autobahn. So Dawn, mm -hmm. do you know how those lovely slacks of yours could power your phone in the future? My slacks. My slacks. Um, is it? Is it that the MIT, right, have just developed some new energy harvesting technology? Which essentially means that they can create electricity from like small, tiny bending movements. Which means that like the clothes that you wear or like cars on the road or like bridges and stuff can generate electricity. Yeah, that's the one. This week we've just heard that something's finally going to be done about gas flaring. Gas flaring wastes about 3.5% of the world's natural gas resources. Flaring is a burn-off of gas which is found when drilling for oil. And there are some staggering numbers to go along with this. There are. So, for example, in 2012, Russia flared 143 billion cubic metres of gas. But this week, the World Bank has announced that they're planning to stop flaring by 2030. It's quite far off, to be honest. I mean, I can't even see it. It's so far away, Rob. Yeah. Oh, God. To end on a happy note, we've got some good news straight out of the US of A. A species is rising its little tiny dumpy head out of the water and has fought its way back from extinction. The, the manatee. manatee! Oh, look at them, Dawn. Graceful beasts. Majestic cows. Graze on me. That's right, for 50 years, nature's cows of the sea have been teetering on the edge of extinction. Their numbers fell, commonly due to the fact that they were hit by boat propellers in the water. Yeah, yes, um, and news just in, actually their numbers have increased now to 13,000, so that's all right. And this is down to two reasons. Number one. General awareness. Two. Oh, that's actually quite strange. Power stations. The discharge channels, that's the warm, clean water coming out of the power stations, actually attracts them during the winter. Where they, they hang out, they probably chat, they also breed. Okay, well that's the lot for the week. Yep, that's it. I said, man, I'm parched, are you parched? Pretty thirsty actually. Oh man, I could do with a tea. You're making? Mano tea. Man, ooh, tea. Mano tea. Manatee. 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 Well, if you like the show, do give us a thumbs up. And click here to subscribe on Rob's face. Yeah, that's it. Subscribe. Do click, it. Click my face. Come on, click my face. Oh, I can see one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just here. Subscribe here. Here. Good. Good, 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 good.